he, he lined so what it do up. you do when you when, Sorry. when you're playing like a guy like this that he plays so fast i mean if you're playing a match you probably played a lot many times against players like this so what do you force yourself i mean i i gotta play fast and you try to play fast or that just makes it worse what, what do you I, do what i do is i usually lose <laughs> yeah <laughs> one way or another Unfortunately, oh, there's also Rook takes F6 because there's Knight G4 and taking here. So that didn't happen. Instead, just winning the piece and keeping more material on the board, which I actually think is quite bright because the Knight on D5 protects F4. You don't have to worry about liquidating into a position where you can't win. And that is the first game in the books. And the first point is scored by Ronix and wanting the two seed in this event. Plays A6, but oh no! This knight on b6 is a bit loose. So how do you take advantage? Maybe d5 and knight d4. Good tactical awareness from Brown at Sagwani here. The knight comes to d4, hitting the queen on c6, hitting the bishop on f5, and their tactics galore. Unfortunately for black, it seems like they're all in white's favor. Probably played also with uh, Ronak in some blitz games, and he plays super fast, right? I mean, he always does this, right? He just plays, and I mean, just... He's ahead on the clock all the time, and that puts a lot of pressure on you. Yeah, yeah. And, and the biggest problem is he's also playing good moves, right? Some people play really yeah, exactly. fast, but play questionable <laughs> chess. No, he's just playing good moves quickly. A anyone anyone can play fast, right? Oh, Queen D8. Yeah, queen D8. He blundered, yeah. Yeah, immediately. Oh, boy. That's okay, why you, so one. That's why you can't get down to just seconds on your clock. A uh, few seconds on the clock or not, but either way, it's very annoying. But you, when you get an opponent like... Ronak is really hard to, I mean, playing the same speed of your opponent if he plays really, really fast and okay, he's 3000, so he's very good at play too. So you're gonna have to accept that you're gonna be worse on the, yeah. on the clock. D4 is gonna have to believe in his pawn, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Fastest mate? Eight. Oh, mate one. That was mate. Oh. Mm. That was painful <laughs> after. <laughs> oh, gosh. How is this not really bad for Black? I have no idea. <laughs> It looks terrible. It says only plus one, but it feels like a position where, if from a practical point of view, it feels almost winning for one. It's so hard to be like uh, what, that much ahead on the clock against the 2800, like Ronak is doing. It's yep. so difficult. And, and he goes for King d5, and c6 is going to be. Yeah, the a2 pawn is just hanging. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. This looks yeah, like tricky. trouble once again for Paulus. And he, he lined so what it do up you do when. You Sorry. When you're playing like a guy like this, that he plays so fast. I mean, if you're playing a match, you probably played a lot many times against players like this. So what do you force yourself? I mean, I, I gotta play fast and you try to play fast or that just makes it worse? What do what you I, do? What I do is I usually lose. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one way or another. India is one of the countries that is showing definitely the biggest number of talents everywhere. At this yeah. age, at least. Yeah, it's just yeah. amazing. And what's super crazy, Krikor, is we were talking about rounding being 30, 44, and then he drew a game and won a game, and he's still losing a bunch of ratings. That's <laughs> yeah. how high his rating is. If one yeah, goes back. You can, no, no, oh, you 92, cannot. 92. No, you can't take on F4. <laughs> no. oh. Oh. And he just saw it right after he took, he felt it coming. Yeah. yeah. It's a big blunder at the end. The confidence yeah. is amazing. He's <laughs> showing. <laughs> This is just like... Black never had a plan. Krikor, as we were talking about earlier, just zero plan for Black, and White just made very natural moves. Not enjoying this game at all, yeah. No. Nope. Tough, that. tough loss for him, yeah, tough loss. Wow. Wow. It was Tied one on to one, Krikor, and now it's seven and a half, one and a half. Raunek Sadwani is on a winning streak, and I don't even know what to say. What is this? Oh, no. Oh, come on. I mean, this is just bishop e6. What's happening? But if bishop d1 is, was also good, I mean, what did he miss? I, I, I wow, the queen is hanging in two different... I, I, That's surprising. I mean, he's a very good blitz player. It's yeah, very surprising. I, he must wow. be tilting. Definitely. D4 first, okay, that's probably a good choice, because then you can take on B6. This is so You had four seconds with White. Oh, I didn't even look at the clock. Four, four seconds. You missed it. You missed the clock. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow, in 20 seconds for... KF1. Breaking no, F1. Good. Just Rook takes C6. Oh, he forgot about the Knight. I mean, he didn't have time to. Yeah, no time. Yeah, now Ronak is back in... 
And now the king is never gonna hide on c2. That's the problem. Rook e1, maybe? Oh, king c1 and then... Queen g5 is mate. Yeah. The, the wow, diagonals. yeah. diagonals. Oh my god. Queen g1, queen d3. Oh wow, I hated that's, that. E7? That's made it for some reason. E7, E7. Because you take and that king three, g2. Queen g2 and then bishop g1. And bishop g1, yeah. And it's gonna find it, yeah. Yeah, painful losses because uh, it's a different story here in the three minutes section. He's playing way better than before, but his losses are painful. I mean, I'm saying comfortable winning, like in a in a long game, in a points game. I would have no confidence at all, like of me beating Ronak in this position. So, <laughs> so let's make tricky. that clear. He's so tricky, right? This rook is yeah, going to come to e4, and now is rook coming to g4 after it gets there, and your queen on f3 doesn't have too many moves. Light square block. Yeah. So we're gonna have 30 minutes of one minute plus one second increment chess. So I guess technically Polyus does have a chance to come back, mathematically speaking. But Roundneck is one of the best bullet players inside. It's gonna be tough, very <laughs> difficult task for him to <laughs> remove a nine point difference. But he's playing much, much better in this three minutes. He's playing risk free completely. Yeah. That's the most frustrating thing is when you're playing a position, you know you're worse. Wait, oh, I have some tactic. And your opponent's like, nope, you're not going to get any tactics whatsoever, and you're still worth 96, 96. Yeah. 96. Oh, 96. Oh, yeah. 96 was good. He really wants to play, <laughs> like, very solid here. Scores another point, quick core, and it's been all round up in this match. When he plays like this at his sort of peak, who's going to beat him in this field? We'll look at the bracket after the match, but I just yeah. don't know who's going to take him down. He's just, yeah, he feels so comfortable playing this uh, Blitz and Bullet. And we've seen him play a lot of games where like, I'm sure he's very strong without increment, but he's showing like amazing chess here too with 3-1. Yeah. Wait a second though. Oh, is it getting checkmated? There's a checkmate somewhere. Oh, B4. Wow. Wait, B4, oh, but then Rook C6, Rook C6. Wow. Oh my gosh. That was gosh. fast. Rook F6 and B4, yeah. He saw it fast. Yeah, Crazy. he really did. He's been doing his puzzle rush. Now Rook is getting checkmated apparently. 95. Queen H4 or something. Oh, Bishop C5 is coming. That's painful. This is just Bishop E3? Is that getting Take. takes and Bishop H3? Bishop H3 right away also. Yeah, here comes yeah it's just free play. Just easy moves coming. Queen F2 is just resignable already. It is indeed. Looks completely winning for Raunek once more, and he went g5 and just barged through. No stopping him in the king side. Isn't black just now? He has and... bishop e2 and a5 e6. Rook oh, it's getting checkmated. Yep, rook h3, rook h1. King g3 now. You can pre move king g3 now because it only works. <laughs> oh, he pre moves. <laughs> Critical horde. You've been practicing oh, your yeah. bullet. Bullet skills. <laughs> Rook A4, G6 is coming. Okay. And there's Rook H4 ideas as well. What is happening? He's going for checkmate. He's going for checkmate. This is actually a typical Sicilian plan, right? With the white side, you just you know push your pawns and try to like break through. But wow. Okay, G. Wow, G H6 he played. Bishop B4 Rook check. H6. Rook H6 is coming now. Yeah. Take and Rook H6. Wow. Bishop B6 is close to mate now. Well, anything is. Yeah, he doesn't. King c1, king b1. See, there's oh, a. Two now. Oy, oh, my and God. then king a2. Oh, and now he two. loses. Oh, oh yeah, that's a sad way to finish the match. I was, I, th I thought he was getting his win in the bullet. Wow. Well, that is a sad way, but also how the day was going. If you are Rana Sidwani, you just were winning everything. 23 to 5 final score. Crickor, I don't know what else there is to say.